There's something satisfying about finding a sort of metaphorical encapsulation of what you're going through in life. Things that we just couldn't have imagined. Bizarre Sisyphean experience is basically modern life. Do not tell me you intended on going alone. Heavens no. We could go right now. Um, I'm great company, I swear. You should never think that just because they are little, they can't do something. Because by golly, we will find a way to do it. Don't underestimate us. Perhaps we could just disappear. Stop doing that. Doing what? Going somewhere else. I'm right here. I can see that. I'm sure if we met, there'd be magic. Magic doesn't get the job done. Unless you're a magician. You'll be back to your normal self in a week. I guarantee you things will go back to the way they were before. Just let, Just it, let it happen? I don't have feet, but a flexibility. I have to do something different. Fine! Move across the country! Leave me! Leave your mess! Leave your home! Você não gosta daqui, você não quer voltar. O que, que você quer? Every time I played, I'm there with her at the shore. Is it okay if I keep you on the line? Yeah, sex is kind of part of like our bodies and our everyday lives, yet it's like such a hard conversation to have. I like females. This wasn't gonna look good at the golf club. But who said that that was a bad thing? Don't be so dramatic. <sighs> What? I don't have anywhere to be. Welcome to the 2022 Screen Arts Awards. We are so happy to see you here. I'm Akil. And I'm Jenna. And we're BFTV alumni here to guide you through the night. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Let's take a moment before we begin to acknowledge the land for sustaining us and for providing us with the necessities of life. This territory is covered by the Dish with One Spoon Treaty and the Two Row Wampum Treaty, which emphasize the importance of joint stewardship, peace, and respectful relationships. As we reflect on the land, let us remember that we are all stewards of the land and of each other. We recognize the land on which we gather has been and still is the traditional territory of several indigenous nations, including the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Wendat, the Métis, and the Mississaugas of Credit First Nation. Since time immemorial, numerous indigenous nations and indigenous peoples have lived and passed through this territory. Sheridan affirms it is our collective responsibility to honor the land as we honor and respect those who have gone before us, those who are here, and those who have yet to come. We are grateful for the opportunity to be learning, working, and thriving on this land. What are you doing here? You, you can't be scary guys like that. I have trauma. Oh my god. I'm looking for the Screen Arts Awards. What are you doing here? Uh, so am I. But why are you just like Jumanji? Because, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to look like Dwayne Johnson. Uh, I would say more Kevin Hart. Uh, okay, coming from you, Kim Possible looking ass. Oh my god. Give me that. This is upside down. Okay, we don't we don't know what was upside it's, down. Yes, you know, it was. Yo, see, it's not that it was illegible. No. This is an award made for the people and chosen by the people. This is where we take recognition from the audiences and have them choose the winners for this category. Here is the People's Choice Award. The first year People's Choice Award goes to 
The second year People's Choice Award goes to. The third year People's Choice Award goes to. The fourth year People's Choice Award goes to. We need to head north from here. Turn around. I was coming this okay. way, yeah, well, so that way I could test my feet where this way. Yo, yeah. it's easy. It's easy. Over here. Easy. I'm just special, bro. Judging me. You're not even prepped properly for this. <laughs> How's, how's it been I mean, like lately? Are you, are you okay? How's your mental health? This award goes to a student who has achieved high academic standing by the end of their first year at Sheridan. Congratulations to our first year most outstanding student. The first year most outstanding student award. And the winner is This award goes to the second year student who has achieved high academic standing at the end of their second year at Sheridan. Here is the award for second year most outstanding student. The winner of the second year most outstanding student is... Get over here. Uh. S marks the spot. This place reminds me of Ryan Reynolds. What does that mean? Gorgeous, I love S-Wing. I mean, yeah, I guess it's okay, but we're not even there yet. We're at the front door! Oh God, is it locked? It's locked. Thanks, Tips. We gotta find another way. Are you sure? Yeah, let's go this way. Production designers can change the plant space into a whole new world of design, fully immersing the audience into the story. Production design isn't simply the background of a set, but an important storytelling element that shows character in the world they live in. The nominations for Best Production Design are The Sessler Award for Best Production Design. Cartography of a Woman, Ali Von Boitiker and Alex Buckenroth. The Cross Sect Inn, Natasha Urig and Jamie Hiltstone. How could he do this to us? I don't like it. Track Memoria, Zachary Viola and Victoria Bacani. Where were you yesterday? Uh. And the winner is... How could he do this to us? Hi everyone. Production management is about keeping everything organized and the crew connected to achieve a successful end product. 
In these crazy chaotic times when people are so separated, it's really important to highlight the hard work that production managers do. The nominations for Best Production Management are the Crimson Fish Award for Best Production Management. Game, set, match. Willem Lachance and Jonathan Payne. You saw that too, right? Eye to eye. Violet Elliott, Katie McKenna, and Gabriel Moore. I don't remember when I started coming to LPO events. LPO just like appeared in my life because I think my parents were part of the organization even before I was born. Just what he thinks. Stephanie McKenzie Jim, and Crystal Tsai. Wipe off any excess to leave only a smooth film of color. An object. Yeah, that's a tough question. It is a tough question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to put a physical... Take Me Back, Brianne Harvey. Take me back to when we started All the places where we traveled The winner is... I don't remember when I started coming to LPO events. Another entrance! <laughs> Are you eating an apple? A snack. There's a snack. Okay? Like a... Uh, hold on. Don't get your hopes up, okay? My hopes are already up. <sighs> Alright. Wait! Uh, what? What if it's a trap? A trap. It could be a trap. In a school? Have you not seen Korean zombie thrillers? What are you talking about? Okay, let's do this. We'll do it on the count of three, okay? Okay. One, One two, two, three. Spending hours of research and compiling ideas takes dedication, effort, and coming up with a great argument to write a good quality paper. This award acknowledges the hard work from our students and recognizes how much goes into writing these papers. Here are the nominations for Best Critical Writing. The Award for Best Critical Writing. The Purpose of Reflection, Sorry We Missed You, an Italian Neorealism, Ethan Granka. Flee, The Social Imprint and Challenges of Eurocentric Imperialism in Filmmaking, Martin Restrepo. Eliza Hitman and Exposing the Harsh Reality of Truth. Ryan Hadwin Huzar. A Clockwork Orange. Classic Hollywood meets European art cinema. Jim Yufei Zhu. The winner is Eliza Hitman and Exposing the Harsh Reality of Truth. Ryan Hadwin Huzar. Transmedia can elevate a story by adding platforms that expand the world of that story. It's not just social media. It can be virtual reality or interactive websites. Students use platforms and technologies that immerse the audience into the world of the film. The nominees for Best Transmedia are... The award for Best Transmedia. Moon in the Daytime. Alex Buckenroth. There is a saying that one can be 
beautifully out of place, like seeing the moon during the daytime. What? The talk. Ella Saini, Vanessa Soliviu, and Vanessa Fayek. And the teacher said no, um, which is not true. And the teacher not only gave the wrong information, but then when I put my hand up to express that they were wrong, said that I, like, that I was wrong. And the winner is... I don't want a solo with a teacher that doesn't want me, Mom. Baby, there is a saying that one can be... We've had no luck finding any awards so far. I mean, like, do we really need them, you know? Like, do we need awards? An award show needs awards. I guess. What program is this even for again? BFTV. Oh, that's crazy, because speaking of TV, here's the television award show. BFTV students use their skills and talents to explore the multi-camera format. What do they do? They put together a live production show that demonstrates the excellent individual and collaboration skills, just like these green screens behind me changing all the time with productions of these pieces. You know what? It's kind of crazy. Look at that. I'm in somewhere else. And now here are the nominations for the best multi-camera production. The Kojiko Award for Best Multi-Camera Production. And the winner is... Oh my God! Christ has risen! It's not Dickie Johnson Sr. At Kojiko, we truly believe in investing in the next generation, supporting their education and development as a whole, including their involvement in media and the arts. Much of our local Your TV programming is produced with the assistance of volunteers. Hey guys, These volunteers use their creativity to help drive the content of our stations and bring our community programming to life. Our volunteers contribute their time and talent while gaining valuable hands-on production experience. This is why we are proud to sponsor the award for Best Multi-Camera Production. On behalf of my colleagues at Kojiko, congratulations to the award recipient. We can't wait to see your next production. TV allows BFTV students to get involved in another medium throughout their years at Sheridan. It brings a different kind of passion by bringing live elements to the crews. And this award that we're doing right now, right here, goes to someone that shows the passion and enthusiasm for my classes. So here's the television award. The Kojiko Television Award. The winner of the Kojiko Television Award is... Hi, I'm Tim Cadigan, Senior Director of Programming and Community Relations at Kojiko. We are proud to support Sheridan College and the 2022 Screen Arts Awards. At Kojiko, we connect the communities we serve through phone, internet, and TV services. We operate community channels called Your TV throughout Ontario to keep our communities engaged with local programming that matters to them. This includes sports, community events, local heroes, and political issues. We believe in the power of local TV, which is why we are thrilled to sponsor the television award. Congratulations to the award recipient on your hard work and achieving this honor. Since we're right next to the BFTV office, what if maybe someone there knows something? Big brain, I like it, Picasso. <laughs> Hi, hello, I'm here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Hello? Hello? Did I get hung up on? I think I got hung up on. Are there no one's there or like they're really rude? You know what? Maybe they're on vacation. But how are we supposed to find these awards? You know, I think the person who's presenting the screenplay award might know. The screenplay is foundation of any great film. In order to write a compelling film, screenwriter must reach into their own beliefs, fears, and desires, and fearlessly lay themselves on the page so that the audience can partake in their experiences. Here are the nominations for Best Screenplay. The Meridian Artists Award for Best Screenplay. Tracked Memoria, Martin Restrepo, and Malcolm Judah. None of it ever happened. It feels like 
I ain't never happened. To My Own Blood. Fong Xander Pham, Rain Lundy, Alicia Solomons, and Haley Torrio. Should everything be about money? Gone. Family comes first. Cartography of a woman and dress of Bach. Your windows are fantastic. This skyline. Well, I enjoy watching the city from above. You know, if you like this, you should see the view from my apartment. Every project starts from that view. It's... A Night in Heaven. Danya Zubrauti and Chen Sing Yap. The winner is... I have a lot of memories here. I'm a little upset. We haven't found a single award. Yeah. Um, but we learned about screenplays. It's kind of cool. True. But, I mean, the awards couldn't have just grown legs and walked away, so... Low-key possible, okay? Mm -hmm. Especially since it's an Aries moon. Uh, but... Okay. What if we find Saren? Uh, good idea. But, I mean, where are we going to find him? In the TV studio, because he's always there with our tour, and he's always like... <laughs> okay, so now all we need is some sense of direction. Mm. Speaking of good direction... Let's hold. Um, I felt like that, that was good. Um, it just felt like it was dragging on a little bit. Um, and like also this isn't your problem totally, but like we're like really behind on time So I'm gonna need you guys to like really pick up the pace, okay? Okay, okay? I, can pick, I can pick it up. You're good? Okay, cool. Let's do it again. Yeah, pick it up. Pick okay, it up. yeah, pick cool. Let's pick go up. back. Yeah, yeah. places. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. surrender the... I don't even remember the lines. Can I have my line? Can I have my line? Good evening. Directing is equal parts creativity and collaboration. The very best directors not only lead, but inspire, helping to bring out the very best in their collaborators while standing firm in their vision for the finished film. The nominations for Best Direction are... The Crimson Fish Award for Best Direction. Cartography of a Woman, Andressa Bach. You're not here because of the snow, are you? Well, you're safe here. Brave, Les Femmes. Naked Island, Jim Yufei Zhu. Track Memoria, Malcolm Judah. Love and the winner is You're not here because of the snow, are you? Look! There's the door to the TV studio! Huh. Maybe they're hiding in there. Should we bust in on three? Yeah. Okay. Ichi! Me! Sai! A skilled cinematographer chooses the best lighting, camera angle, composition and movement to tell the story through visuals. Every shot is meticulously planned through storyboards and shot lists with the cinematographer's trained eye. Behind a single brilliant shot are countless hours of training and discipline. 
The nominations for Best Cinematography are... The Richard Leiterman Award for Best Cinematography. Brave. Jim Yufezu. Naked Island, Jim Yufei Zhu. The Cross Sect Inn, <laughs> Varsha <Splat>. Raghuraman. <laughs> And the winner is... No one's here. Saren's not here. Artur's not here. What should we do? We don't know that. You know? High hopes! Busy bats! Could be sleeping, like, under the desk, in the ducts. That seems unlikely, but... It is marking season, so... Sleeping bags. What? What is it? <laughs> what is it, you ask? But a drive! A secret drive. A film goes through many stages during its life, yet it's the editor that puts it in its final form. You have the most control of the project during the editing phase. It's where you either make or break it. In the hands of a skilled editors, you control the tone, the pacing, and the emotional impact of the film with utmost precision. The nominees for Best Editing are... The award for Best Editing. Cartography of a Woman, Emily Peloso. Focus, Jacob Nassan. Quiet, please. Groove, Crystal Tseng. And the winner is... What are you doing? Come on! Baby, are you on? Great acoustics in here. What? I didn't know you knew a lot about acoustics. I literally know nothing about acoustics, but... It does connect with our next award. It's time for sound design. And we know it adds a dimension to the medium of film, a new dimension. It can add depth through establishing space and enhance an actor's performance. It can make us jump out of fear, swoon, cry, and everything in between. Here are the nominees for best sound. Did you hear that dog? That was sound. The award for best sound. She, Cameron McIver. Goes getting a little stage fright. George. I promise to say I like it even if I don't. Whoa. Uh, this, this is. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wonder, John Dela Cruz. Please, 
<laughs> Track Memoria, Madeline Southward. Emilio, you have an intracranial hemorrhage. The frequent use of the memories has caused a bleeding that's occurring in between your skull and your brain. Symptoms to look out for are don't, don't touch it and make it work. Scavenger, Ella Saini. And the winner is... Emilio, you have an intracranial hemorrhage. Saran! Saran! What if we can't find this man's or the awards? Okay, listen, it can't be that hard, right? <laughs> but we've been going over so long and I have juices everywhere okay. and I'm just... Uh, let's keep that to yourself, okay? Look, there's still places to look, okay? Hear me out. Yep. We VFX the awards. No. But you know what we are gonna do? We're gonna cut to some great VFX work. Or we VFX the awards. As filmmakers, we know that we draw upon a wide variety of skills and disciplines in order to make movies. Um, everything from uh, screenplay to uh, acting to editing and everything in between. And once in a while we imagine something that we know that we're not going to quite be able to create uh, on set or in camera and it's at those times that we think about the visual effects artists and ask them to dig into their bag of tricks to see if they can come up with something to, um, to create what we had imagined. And so with that, the nominees for the best visual effects are... The nominations for best visual effects are... The Cross Sect Inn, Varsha Raghuraman, Andrew Strachan, and Timothy Young. I remember the popping sound like his skin made, like it would bubble, like his hair was like all stiff. <laughs> Wonder Boy, Timothy Young, Matthew Sahagian, Patrick Toma, and Sasha Belayeva. <laughs> Track Memoria, Andrew Strachan. And the winner is... Like his hair was like all stiff. <laughs> Jenna... What if we can't find it? Well, we just have to start looking. It's gotta be in one of these rooms. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah try and never hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. All we need to do is get inspiration. Uh-huh, and where are we gonna find that? Honestly, I like listening to music. Okay. We could try music. Okay, let's do it. Uh. My money don't jiggle jiggle. Score goes hand in hand with the film, complementing it by adding the finishing touches. It helps evoke a certain emotion and brings the audience into the world of the characters. I once heard Hans Zimmer say, Music is the last character to enter your cast. The nominations for Best Original Score are... The Screen Composers Guild Award for Best Original Score. Red Fence. Tim McGuire. How about we try doing it again sometime? This time at my place. I would say I'm looking forward to it. Neighbor. Stealing Murakami, 
Nathan Kaur, and Juan Pablo de la Mora. This bizarre Sisyphean experience that is basically modern life when you think about it. And I think that's what part of the satisfaction is. You sort of come out at the end and go, yeah. The Wishing Box, Nathan Kaur and Juan Pablo de la Mora. On the basis of love, Juan Pablo de la Mora and Julian Ardilla. There was no pain. There was no expectations. There was just us. And we just had this bond that was unbreakable. And nothing could change that. And the winner is... There was just us. And we just had this bond that was unbreakable. I'm feeling motivated. Are you motivated? Yeah, I'm motivated. Are you motivated? Motivated? Yeah, I'm motivated. Are you motivated? Yeah, I am. Are you motivated? Yeah, but I'm still hungry. I'm you want not. food? No? No. Really. no? Okay, let's keep searching. Okay. Got a lot more sweat going on now. Many BFTV students will agree. Third year is intense. Students are asked to complete two separate film projects in a single year with full crews, full cast, off-campus locations, and little money. Here's the award for the third year most outstanding student. The winner of the third year most outstanding student award is... Screen Arts Award, let's go! So. I'm a champion. You know, this is just what I do. I always win. Oh. This is anything but a Screen Arts Award. <sighs> okay, well. Did he out here just get an award this time? <laughs> oh, when I was running okay. through the jungle, you they tried. shot my that's camera. A, yeah, and I, yeah. My head All was right, blocked. That's, <laughs> enough. that's enough. Let's go. We gotta find. We got a lot of searching to do. It's gonna take me forever. <laughs> Historically and presently, the film and television industry has favored a certain group of individuals, allowing more the chance to succeed than others. Sheridan is helping to shift an imbalance by accepting more female students and recognizing their talents. Here is the award for Outstanding Female Graduate. The WIFT Award for Most Outstanding Female Graduate. And the winner is... Hi Sheridan graduates, my name is Gloria Eun Kim and I'm a director, writer, producer at Glorious Productions and a WIFT Toronto board member. It's my sincerest delight to congratulate this year's recipient of the Sheridan Screen Arts WIFT Award for outstanding female graduate and to welcome you to our WIF Toronto community. The last couple of years have been really tough, but you've persevered and you've excelled. And it's people like you that we need right now in our industry, people who are committed to inclusivity, equality and accessibility. I would like all of you to take a moment to congratulate each other and yourselves for all the hard work that you have put in. And just really know that the path going forward, you guys are gonna make a big difference. It's your passion and your dream to be in screen-based media. And as you do new projects, you're gonna gain more skills. And as you get out there more, you're gonna build your network and you guys are gonna make a big difference. So I'm really proud of you all. I can't wait to see what you all do and just get out there and make things happen. Congratulations. How often do you reapply your chapstick? Yes. Oh my God. Okay, I have an idea. Uh, I don't want to hear it. Last person to get to Didier's class has to do push-ups. No, I don't. Want Too late! No! Your shoelaces are tied! Oh no! I don't have shoelaces! 
At the core of every student BFTV lies an artist. We are constantly pushing for innovation, breaking rules, and finding new ways to express ourselves. These films may be unconventional, but succeed in telling their truths in their own way. Here are the nominees for the Best Experimental Production Award. The award for Best Experimental Production. First Felt. Hugo Hum, Eric Genier, and Victoria Bacani. Day and Night. Jessica Rahu, Maddie Southward, Haley Torrio, Emily Peloso, and Eden Elsha. The winner is... What are you doing? I'm being self-absorbed and deteriorating my mental health by re-watching stuff that I've done in the past. That way I can see how I can be better in the future. And you're eating again without me? Oh. So, uh, see the next award, eh? Yeah. Roll the clip. Vladimir Kabalik is a documentary filmmaker and a former professor from Sheridan. Vlad has had a major role in the creation of documentaries in Ontario that are designed to expose and transform our social realities. This year it is being awarded to a Sheridan student who demonstrates innovation, creativity, and unique quality in producing their documentary film. The winner of the Vladimir Kabelik Award for Excellence in Documentary Filmmaking is... We got to see some really great awards today. Crazy, it's almost over. Mm, we really did, and there's only three more awards left. Our adventure here is almost done. Some of these BFTV students are never going to touch these halls again. That's so sad. You're going to make them cry behind the screen. When I graduated, all I did was cry behind the screen. Oh my goodness. Well, speaking of that, though, that brings us to our next award. Has something to do with graduates and graduation? It sure does. Crazy. It is clear that each and every one of our graduates with us today is all outstanding in their own right. It is not easy making films in these times, but all of the students in this cohort successfully did. Today, we would like to celebrate one of those outstanding students. Here is the award for the most outstanding graduate. The winner of the most outstanding graduate award is... We only have a couple of awards left tonight. Never found Seren, never found physical awards. I'm a failure, daddy was right. Okay, we're here to celebrate the amazing filmmakers and all their hard work tonight. You're right, you're right. I'm making it about myself. <laughs> Let's check out the next award. There are many forms of stories, and one of those forms is nonfiction storytelling. Whether it's live TV or documentary, these forms open us up as audiences to new ideas that the filmmakers present and give us a new perspective on the world. The nominees for nonfiction film are... The award for best nonfiction production. Guardians, Brianne Harvey. Get on your eels and get cracking. This is the one time you don't look, or like glitch. It's gonna be something. Stealing Murakami, Aza Kazarani. It's this bizarre Sisyphean experience that is basically modern life when you think about it. And I think that's what part of the satisfaction. The talk. 
Vanessa Soliviu, and Ella Saini. Um, not saying that, you know, the trans community, the LGBTQ community, the, the intersex community, it's not like we haven't been here. We've been here the whole time, but we are definitely more, more seen now than ever. The winner is... This is it. This is the final big frontier. We out here. The end result. What everybody's been waiting for. What my grandmother has always okay. wanted. Okay, Akil, you're making me nervous. Uh, do you remember the 2017 Oscars? We don't want another Moonlight La La Land situation. Imagine. <laughs> oh, my bad. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just shaking. I'm excited. I can't wait. Like, <laughs> okay, Akil, we've gone on so many adventures today. Mm -hmm. We need to celebrate all the teamwork that those in BFTV had done throughout the year. Mm, say something funny. I messed it up. It's I, the end of the show and I, I... Yeah, I think you were uh, supposed, supposed to, to improv actually there. Actually say something funny, right? Yeah. yeah okay, okay. <laughs> all right. Can we cut or something? Can Filmmaking is an adventure. As Francois Truffaut had one of his characters say in the movie Day for Night, filmmaking is like taking a stagecoach ride in the Old West. You set off hoping for a pleasurable journey, and about halfway through, you're just hoping to survive. Well, you've all survived, and you've made some fine films. Congratulations. Here are three of them nominated for Best Narrative. Cartography of a Woman, Martin Restrepo and Rain Lundy. I see myself as a Canadian citizen, living in a townhouse, maybe. Naked Island, Jim Ufezo, Deshu, Lefe, and Suen Ying. The Cross Sect Inn, Rhiannon Murray Long. Hey, room service. Yeah, Governor wins here. The winner is. Thank you all for joining us on this adventurous award show. We wish the graduates the best of luck on their journey outside of BFTV. Yeah, I can't wait to see y'all in the field. Stay, Stay safe, safe, healthy, healthy and, and happy, happy everyone. everyone. And follow your boy on Instagram at AKIL, period, uh, Mackenzie. You know how to spell Mackenzie, capital K.